Okay, we're gonna do a review on the tiny G pants for newborns um, by G diapers. We um, have never used cloth diapers before. This is our first time, and we're now seven weeks deep almost. Um, we looked into cloth diapers online, uh, watched a ton of stuff on YouTube, and made our decisions on what we were going to use based on everybody else's reviews, but I couldn't find any uh, reviews on the tiny G pants, so thought I'd do one because I've been really happy with them, and uh, we really liked them. Uh, our little girl is seven weeks now, and she's wearing the and truly tiny G pant here. It is really nice. It's not bulky. It fits her really good. It's really cute. Um, when she was born, it was really nice because it's soft on her little skin. It did leave little indents on her. As you can probably see, uh, the little marks. When she was new, new, it was a lot more noticeable because their skin's so sensitive. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't really bother her. Um, they do close in the back. Little Velcro back there. Um, they did it this way so babies can't get it off when they're older. Why it matters now, I really don't know, but we're used to it. Uh, we've had minimal leaks with these. She's about 10 pounds and still fits in them. Yeah, they, uh, they're good for like 5 or 6 pounds to 8, but like she's going on 10 pounds and it's, it's still a good fit. Um... They're nice because they've got the little snap downs, uh, so when they're new, it's not rubbing on their umbilical cord while it's healing. So you can snap them down, and they're not especially so, when they're really small. Not so up on them. Um, we're using the small G pant now, which is fitting her pretty good. Uh, this is for eight to fourteen pounds. This one does use a snap-in liner, which is really nice. Um, you just stuff it the same as you would the tiny G pant. And if we don't double stuff, we do notice that we have leaks. Um, so stuffing isn't always nice. And we'll put this one in first. And then this one, which is the G cloth. Um, this is by far our favorite insert. Um, it's really absorbent. It holds a lot. It's got two layers of hemp and cotton and then micro fleece. We like it. It's a good size for this and the small G pant. Um, once you get past the small into the medium and large, then you go on to the next size up on the inserts. But then you can use these again. <clears throat> Which is nice as a doubler. Soft, down comfy the side road. Up. Yeah, the soft side is against baby's skin. Um, it's nice because it wicks all the pee away and baby stays really, really dry on here. Um, and the one and then on the back will get really wet. The one on the bottom is soaking wet when you change them. This one feels pretty dry on the top. Um, this will be really wet. So, so that's no how you. Rashes. No, because you're changing, you know, pretty often. Um, anyway, which you should be when they're new. But anyway, um, this is stuffing the tiny G pant with uh, two liners, or excuse me, two inserts, a doubler, and then the G cloth. Um, if you don't want to use the cloth, which you should, it's way better for the planet, um, you've got the biodegradable or flushable um, inserts that they sell, which. It's kind of big to flush, but. I mean, people will do it. They've got the swish stick. We have no experience flushing it. Um, we've used them a few times when she was little and had the meconium, which was nice. And then you've got people who will do this if they send their kids to daycare and don't want to send the inserts. They think this is easier. Um, and then this is nice. It's not sitting in a landfill for years and years and years. Like a diaper will be, this will um, compost as well outside, which is nice. Um, you flush the poo. You compost this. Um, I, also, if it's urine, you can compost it as well. Um, so that's 
pretty nice that you've got that if you want to go that route but we don't use these we've got them but we don't use them um, we stick to the cloths and if you've got an exclusively breastfed baby then you've got you know a water soluble poop um, your washing machine should totally get your diapers clean um, you use a good detergent like we use rock and green we love it and all of our diapers have been completely pooed all over by her and yet they're all still totally white they come out clean every single time I have no complaints I did my research on that as well um, so we've got quite a few different inserts the micro fleas um, out of all of them we like the G inserts the best uh, we do have a few bamboo ones that we really like as well uh, those are really absorbent and they're thin which is really nice I'd like to get more bamboo and hemp ones um, the small G diaper we've really liked it fits her good now it's still a little big um, we don't really have any leaks with this which is really nice as well and I like that I can snap in the liner um, and stuff it and then if it's soiled I toss it in to be washed this normally isn't I reuse unless she's had a blowout I toss this this gets washed with everything as well and then I get a new cover but for the most part this can last all day until she's got a poo um, we really are happy with our G diapers this little miss little lady it's all right this is the um, little liner that you could put over once uh, once you're stuffing these and we're older and having different poos and eating foods um, or formula fed babies you know have different consistencies of poo um, a lot of people use these and will remove this flush it down the potty with the poop um, and then their liner isn't so soiled and then you don't have such a nasty liner we don't even have to use these um, sometimes you know we'll rinse out the poo but for the most part we just toss it in the wash um, this is a poopy diaper breastfed poop looks like mustard um, this will come out completely clean just like this once it's been through the wash um, we'll just hold it dump it um, in our pail <clears throat> in our wet pail dry pail I guess it would be called because we don't have anything wet in it uh, <laughs> we do the dry pail um, everything just goes in there we unsnap put that outside covers <clears throat> that one's soiled isn't it yeah so that gets taken out tossed in the pail this actually doesn't have anything on it but I'm gonna toss it because it was poo and sitting there and gross so anyway that'll get washed um, get a new one stuff it but if you're doing the tiny pants um, every time they poo you obviously wash it um, your liner is soiled with poo or your excuse me your insert is soiled with poo um, that would get on your diaper so this whole thing would get tossed if it was poo um, P you could toss your insert to be washed and then this you could uh, wipe out with a wipe um, hang out let it air dry or if it's totally you know saturated through on a side which sometimes it would be we would have a little bit of a leak on here we would toss it to be washed um, we ordered six for her as a newborn supply that and that good. was pretty good was pretty that good. lasted us Maybe a day 10 would have been really nice 10 would have been nice but I'm not gonna complain yeah. six was pretty good uh, we would not have to wash them with every use so it would last and then um, with poos we would just dump our uh, biodegradable one we were using in the very beginning with the meconium poos um, and then went on to these after the meconium was done and just would wash the whole thing so anyway no complaints with the G diapers and we've been really happy with them they're good she's been pretty happy with them no diaper rashes okay that's it good job little miss little miss Such a good signing baby. off